Hi everyone. So what I want to do is I want to look at the folder structure of the SD card when it's formatted in the uh, Yesu FT3D. So I'm using a Mac, but that's not a problem. Um, this is the SD card. You can see that the format for the volume is MS-DOS FAT32. And here's the documentation on the folder structure which matches perfectly. Let's look inside the FT3D folder in here. Apparently there's a backup. This one is for uh, if you have the RT um, the RT programmer or the uh, FT3D programmer. This one is or, or RT systems for the RT programmer. So this is uh, the file that, that that program uses and I guess you can also use this this particular backup to back up your radio in terms of settings and so forth okay it also has a GPS log which is under the FT3 uh, folder so the GPS log this one um, you can open it up in a text file it gives you uh, GPS information you can convert this into other formats so that programs can route your route. Uh, so um, definitely I want to use that. Uh, let's see, let's go back. Here it's photos, there's nothing in there because I don't have the accessory to take photos. QSO log. This one, I'm still not sure what it is. It says message data. The only one um, that looks familiar is this QSO WAV directory, which is gives me a list of the WAV files that um, I have um, recorded. Okay, so well, maybe eventually I'll figure out what these are. Some of them don't even have uh, information. And then there's voice. And uh, this one, the uh, inside the voice folder, right? Voice recording data. Um, that matches the directory here. Uh, these are set for a certain way. 19 is the year. Uh, 8 is the month. 18 is the day. And then, um, then 11 here is the hours. 34 is the minutes, 16 is the seconds. That's pretty crazy. Uh, as you know, the FT3D can record transmitting and receiving um, signals to the machine. And let's open it in QuickTime here. And I don't know, let's see if we can hear something. Oh, a great thing is that our antennas are on the roof so uh, there is definitely a line of sight between. Oh, that's pretty cool. So definitely I'm going to be doing a video on that. So there you are. You have an idea of the fol folder structure um, and some of the files that uh, are saved in your FT3D.